I've got Admiral Anderson on the QEC. Patching him through to you now. Shepard. Admiral, how are you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge, clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, damn it. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. You never asked me about this, but... My wife just called. My ex-wife. Nobody likes to talk about the toll that long months apart can have on military relationships. She wasn't military. She couldn't handle it. But it's not even about military and non-military, damn it. It's... Space flight. Space flight. Finding the mass relays, miracles of engineering. Human imagination rising to meet our desires. We pay a price for that curiosity, that drive. Our relationships suffer. People we love suffer, but that's reality, and it's worth the cost. I must have thought it was. I guess I still do. In the end, you just have to hope you made the right choices. The Normandy? A brand new ship. My ship. You don't forget that moment. The first time you're standing there. The whole crew looking to you for direction. Unforgettable. I'd led men and women before that. Seen a lot of combat already. Always managed to find my way home in one piece. To do that a few times, you begin to think you know better than the next guy. Maybe you do, I don't know. But if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew. A crew you can trust with your life. Gifted. Disciplined. Brave. All of them. Eager to set sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking what my orders were. Shepard, I said. Let's see what we can find. moment? I've got more of those than anyone will ever know. Only way to learn something. But if I had to pick one to share... I had just gotten promoted to N7. Full of myself. King of the castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They... toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they would have toasted Batarian slavers if it had got them more drinks. About the time my money ran out, my new friends turned on me. I was outnumbered. Things didn't look good. My plan to get out of there involved lots of punching. Well, that worked for a while. Then a table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Salarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Salarian? Moved like a damn cat, I swear. When everybody was out cold, or running. He walked over and helped me up. N7, he asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. Then he walked away. I had met my first Spectre. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker, faster. And a hell of a lot smarter than you, just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive... ...more than once since then. No, no, it's 
fine. I got a few minutes. First contact war? Yeah. I was there. My first real combat. First for a lot of us. I remember one night early in the war. Strapped to my seat as our transport approached the LZ. Everyone was dead silent. Just the sound of breathing. Good men. I trained with all of them. We were always joking and horsing around, but not this time. Just the rattle of the shuttle. And that heavy breathing. Everyone was thinking the same thing. We're off to fight alien invaders. Aliens? Think about that. We all grew up wondering what was out there. If we were alone in the universe. Now we knew. We weren't alone. And we were in trouble. So there we were. About to face an enemy as different and unknown as we could imagine. I knew I had to say something to keep the men relaxed. So I turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly the Marines thought she was a Torian. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of your mama that started this goddamn war in the first place. Scared the Torians shitless. Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's gonna be okay. What was... <clears throat> what was I talking about? Early days, right? People ask why I joined the military. Everyone talks about honor, duty, sure. But that's... never the whole truth. It's a hundred little things that add up to commitment. I joined because of a dog. Yeah. A dog. This patchy, mean son of a bitch that used to bark at me every day on my way to school. He'd snarl and I'd start running. Get the hell out of me. I was just a kid. I remember being in a bad mood one morning. Angry, I can't recall why. When that dog started in on me, I snapped. Started barking right back. We both kept at it until we had nothing left. Dog never bothered me again. Why'd I join the military? Hmm. Sometimes you just gotta howl to make things right. Shepard, before the Battle of the Citadel. 
I'm not sure how valuable hindsight is to the military. Obviously, it worked out for the best. Without the Normandy and Commander Shepard free to do what they needed to do, what we needed them to do, Saren might have taken the Citadel. I think it's clear what a different galaxy this would be if that had happened. I did what I had to. If I had been wrong, I would have gladly accepted the repercussions. The real trick is... never being wrong. <laughs> if you're looking for more action and less philosophy in these notes, let me know. You asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy, the Normandy SR-1. As commander of the Tokyo, I was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CEO Eli Zander was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Torian scientists in shackles and a human Torian fistfight at Cora's den later. Funny now. When I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career. Turians. <clears throat> mm, well, I might not always see eye to eye with the politics and the individual, but I have a great respect for the Turian military. Any Alliance soldier lucky enough to take part in their training programs will certainly be better for it. Their precision, skill, and discipline come together in a way that's second to none. Not that I'm faulting our own people or training. It's just that after fighting Turians in the first contact war, Years later, I had the opportunity to observe and train on Palavin. It was a turning point for me. And I would encourage any soldier to try it. It's a unique experience to put yourself in the squad of a Turian commander. My commander was an uncompromising bastard named Bartox Oryx. If you can find him, just ask how the platoon I commanded was trounced in his strategy game. Humbly. But I've used what I learned that day many times. The xenophobes will have their say. But I think it's vital that we do more of this kind of cross-species training. There you go. <laughs> and if you do find General Oryx, let me know. I owe him money. Earth. 
Not for a day. He was a good man. But that's just a side note. Don't put that in. Who is it, Keeley? Uh, yes, I need to take that. I hope this is what you're after. I'll get to the more interesting N7 stuff next time. <laughs>